Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Fizzle in the building. Today, I'm going to be talking about the 2019 film, The Irishman, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. When this movie came out, people either hated it or loved it. And I'm on the love it side. I had a blast watching The Irishman from start to finish. We have excellent performances all around. Bob De Niro plays Frank Sheeran, a quiet but wisecracking hitman. I think De Niro gives his best performance in years playing Frank Sheeran, maybe even the past decade. De Niro has some nice comic delivery when it's required, and I thought he played a brutal hitman very well. He also plays a struggling family man, but he's married to the mob. Al Pacino plays Jimmy Hoffa, and I highly enjoyed his performance. Pacino has great energy, and he feels more alive compared to a lot of recent choices. However, I do have a small nitpick. Pacino's accent as Hoffa does slip away here and there. Some scenes I feel like I'm watching Jimmy Hoffa, other scenes I feel like I'm watching Pacino. But despite my nitpick, I still think Pacino does a great job. Joe Pesci as Russell Buffalino has my favorite performance of the film. His character is quiet, but still manages to be menacing. Completely opposite from what we usually see from Pesci, loud and violent. His last few scenes of the film has some of the best acting that Pesci has ever done. And I stand by that. I enjoyed Ray Romano as the lawyer. I thought he had a nice wit to him, and I found his character likable. I do wish he had more scenes. Harvey Keitel's in the film, but mainly for two scenes, and he only has dialogue in one of them. It's a great scene, but I wish Keitel had more to work with. Great cinematography, done by Rodrigo Prieto. The restaurant scenes come to mind, and I loved how the night shots looked. I thought the costume design was awesome, as usual in a Scorsese mob film. I think he always gets it right with the suits and the dapper looks. I can see how some people were put off by the de-aging effects, but it never bothered me personally. There's one big problem with this film, and we all know it. Because when this movie came out, everybody was talking about this one scene. When Frank's daughter comes home one day, and she says that the shopkeeper shoved her, Frank walks over to the shop and starts beating up the owner. De Niro kicks the guy while he's on the ground, and it's super unconvincing. This could have easily been avoided with a stunt double or a different camera angle, but this one moment is the biggest flaw of the movie. A lot of people had problems with the pacing of this movie, but I had a blast through the entire runtime. I personally don't think there's any point where it slows down, which is crazy for a three hour and 20 minute movie. I've seen many one hour and 40 so minute movies that drag way more than an Irishman, which is crazy to me. Irishman also had my personal favorite movie soundtrack of 2019. I think this soundtrack is damn near flawless, and I would give it a 10 out of 10. We have songs like A White Sport Coat and A Pink Card Nation, In the Still of the Night, which is one of my favorite songs of all time, Have I Sinned, Pretend You Don't See Her, and many other bangers. Overall, despite some nitpicks like De Niro kicking the guy on the ground, I really love this film. Great acting all around, great cinematography, great writing, great camera work from Scorsese, awesome soundtrack that I really, really love. I really love The Irishman, which I'm going to give a 9.5 out of 10. It would have been a solid 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for the scene where De Niro looks like a senior citizen kicking a guy on the ground. But that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Comment below if there's anything y'all want me to review. Don't forget to subscribe and show love to your boy. Spread the word. I appreciate y'all. Peace.